Shut up. What's up my sweet potatoes? It is Michelle and today we're going to be talking about how you can get ready faster in the morning when you're running late for school. That was the story of my life when I was in school. I would wake up late almost every single morning. It was really bad. So I've definitely picked up some little tips and tricks and things that helped me get ready faster in the morning. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I know a lot of people are going back to school pretty soon. I am actually not going back to school because I already graduated college in May. But if you're new here, welcome. I'm a YouTuber from Hawaii who makes beauty, lifestyle, and fashion videos and vlogs. I will also be... Oh, I cannot talk. I will also be uploading some more back to school videos. So if you don't want to miss out on those, make sure that you're subscribed and that you turn on my notifications. And without further ado, let us begin with the video. So I think the best thing that you can do to help you get ready faster in the morning is to prepare the night before. So the things that you can do are pick out your outfit, also kind of plan for the weather, pack your lunch if you bring home lunch. I brought home lunch like every single day. And you should also pack your bags already. Make sure that your bag is filled with everything that you need for school the next day like your laptop, your notebooks, your pencil cases. Make sure that they're already in your bag so that you can just pick it up and go. Another thing that you can do is do your hair. Maybe I wanted to wear my hair curly. I can curl my hair the night before and sleep in the curls. That way when I wake up, I can save a bunch of time and just do a little touch-ups if I need. I definitely think it's worth it to stay up a couple more minutes to, you know, do all of these preparations because who wants to wake up any earlier than they really have to? Not me. But if you didn't prepare the night before for these things, what you can do is is when you're brushing your teeth, pick out your outfit that you want to wear for the day. I used an electric toothbrush and this toothbrush has a timer on it so it goes off after you've been brushing for two minutes so in that two minute time period you can go ahead and pick out your outfit then go back wash your face and all that. Skincare is very important to me because I have very acne prone skin but if I really really cannot afford to waste any more time, splash my face with water and then spritz some of my apple cider vinegar toner on a cotton pad and just swipe that all over my face to get rid of some excess dirt and then after that I will go on with my makeup. The other thing that you should do is limit the amount of makeup that you use. So I know a lot of girls tend to spend a lot of time on their makeup in the morning but I feel like the main things that you should focus on that actually make a huge difference are eyebrows, eyelashes, and concealer. These things can really make you look more awake. Bronzer, blush, highlight, eyeshadow, eyeliner, things like that. Those are kind of just extra. So what I would do is use a primer. I would still recommend recommend using a primer. I use this blemish control primer because my skin is acne prone. I would also fill in my brows a little bit but I would just use a pencil instead of like my usual powder. I think a pencil is a little faster and also lashes. I would honestly prefer to use like false eyelashes. If you're not comfortable with applying false lashes quickly then that's okay. You can just curl your eyelashes and put on mascara. Then I would just spot conceal and also conceal under my eyes. And the last thing that I would do to finish off the makeup is to apply a tinted lip balm. Just this very minimal makeup look can make such a huge difference. So my go-to outfit when I'm running late is a plain t-shirt, comfy long pants, I love that it has pockets, and some slip-on shoes. And I tucked in my shirt to make my outfit look a little bit cleaner, but you can totally switch out the pants for something a little more casual, like some denim jeans. It's comfy, casual, functional, and you still look so put together even though you picked this out and got dressed in like 30 seconds. Another thing that you can do is just throw on a dress. I'm not too sure how strict some school dress codes are, but I I would definitely just recommend getting a dress with like sleeves and making sure that the dress goes further than your fingertips when your hands are down by your side. I know hair can be a real struggle especially if you're running late but that's why I created a video showing you some of my favorite go-to quick and easy hairstyles when you're running late for school. I will link it up here or in the description box down below if you want to go check it out. My favorite one lately has been this half up half down loop. It's just very cute and also very simple but still looks like you put a lot of effort in to it so two thumbs up for that so for breakfast the thing that I love to do when I'm running late and don't have time is just to pop a hot pocket into the microwave but if you want a little healthier option sometimes I would just grab like an apple and a granola bar and that would be my breakfast because when you're actually running late you really don't have time to like make anything so the thing that I usually do is just get stuff that I can grab and go I don't know how you get to school but I got to school by riding the bus if you really don't have enough time to put on your makeup your jewelry and eat your breakfast on the bus. So if I could take things to go and just do it like while I'm on the bus, 
then I would do that. If people stare at you, who cares? Like, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Honestly, I've done it a bunch of times. I've seen other people do that too, so like, don't even worry about it. The last thing that I want to mention is to just be real with yourself. What do I have enough time to do before I need to get out of the door? And what is the most important thing to me? Of course, the most important thing should be making sure that you have all of your school supplies, but like makeup and hair and everything, is that really important? So that is all for my video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped some of you guys out. Please give it a thumbs up if it did. I will be coming out with more back to school videos. So if you don't want to miss those, subscribe and turn on my notifications. And I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. This is insane like i don't even know where you guys are coming from like how are you guys even finding my videos what made you subscribe to my channel like whoa what and also how did you find me like what was the first video that you saw of mine if you remember it's okay if you don't thank you guys so so much for watching i'm going to do something special in honor of hitting this milestone i will see you guys in my next video stay confident bye